Assalamu alaikum guys this is me Shahriyar Mubarak on my channel Hasan Ali with another episode of my take well it's been 4 days since the ceasefire resolution has been passed in UNSC or security council in Geneva but there is no chances or there is no or it seems highly unlikely that israel is going to abide by that because there is no pressure on israel frankly the security council's resolution is just like another piece of paper because there is no real pressure on israel there is no country standing over its head and saying that if you do not stop we will do this if you do not stop we will cut your aid if we if you do not stop i will do this if you do not stop i will stop selling you the arms i will stop helping you at uh, unga and unsc i will keep on vetoing if uh, i will not keep on vetoing if you didn't stop this genocide if you didn't agree to the ceasefire if you didn't agree to the uh, aid to a trucks to enter in gaza it, there is nothing there is not this sort of uh, pressure on israel and the surprising thing in that that when this resolution got passed last monday the netanyahu administration cancel all trips to the united states of america or the delegations which were planned to visit united states of america they were cancelled by benjamin netanyahu and he blasted united states of america and also calls the thing that the united states of america has betrayed us and it has turned it as the great betrayal of israel by americans but he rescheduled he rescheduled these uh, trips which were cancelled earlier this week yesterday and now these trips are on again as we know that when this resolution got passed in uh, unsc when while america abstained the uh, israel defense minister was there he was very hunky dory with the uh, state department the nsa of america and then he met the uh, general austin lloyd the defense secretary on which the secretary did you know say that uh, uh, he express his concern on the civilians uh, death toll on the civilians in gaza which was too high according to his expectations he didn't condemn israel or he didn't ask them that you need to be cautious about the operation he did do say that if you invade rafa it will be catastrophic but he in a same sentence in a same breath said that is america will keep on supporting israel america will keep on selling or exporting their we- or uh, a- aiding their weapons to uh, israel and israel can use it however they like the real question is that that is israel above the law yes israel ab- israel is above the law because if a security council's resolution passed and now it's four days over four days and there is no action there is no chance there is Uh, no chance in hell seeing that that there could be any ceasefire that uh, israel will stop the hostilities israel will stop the shelling israel will stop the bombardment on gaza no uh, uh, in spite of this when this resolution got passed the next day israel start hitting rafa and hitting the rafa uh, residential complexes the residential buildings the Uh, refugee camps is uh, a camps uh, camps in rafa because rafa is now cramped with the people there are 1.8 million people in rafa before war it was used to be 250000 people now there are excess of 1. Point, around 1.5 million people excess in in rafa district and the way israel is the way the things are looking now that israel is hell bent on destroying rafa district as well so make sure that there is nothing left there people can't even stay there they want actually people of gaza to go somewhere else to go to go in the mediterranean sea or go to the sinai desert if egypt egyptians are willing to take you israel is above the law because if any other country against any other country this sort of resolution was passed the america and its uh, lackeys like united kingdom and uh, the eu states or the nato the goons of the natos would have destroyed or would have attacked that country 
in uh, name of implementing the security council's resolution or security council's peace draft or security council's peace mission now america itself when this resolution got passed uh, uh, the america in, uh, the american envoy the grinda uh, thomas um, Miss Linda Greenfield, Linda Thomas Greenfield, she said that it is non-binding. Then it was the Chinese uh, Chinese envoy's in, 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 intervention where he said that it is binding. It is binding according to the International Court of Justice decision. And if you look at that, that International Court uh, of Justice interim decision which came way back, two, two months back, it didn't have any effect on Israel. Israel didn't abide by that. Israel said, we don't care about that. Yes, Israel is due fighting the case in ICJ, but it has no precaution, no precautions on Israel. Israel have no effect of that. Israel have no harm of that because they said that we do not accept it. And same is happening that Security Council resolution got passed. 14 members vote in favor of ceasefire. Um, uh, the America who have stayed who uh, the America the one who only abstained from the 15 member 15 member council. There is nobody asking Israel to stop this madness, stop this killing of innocent civilians of Gaza, stop using starvation as the weapon against these innocent people of Gaza, innocent children and men and women of Gaza who are dying of hunger, who are dying of hunger, who are dying of hunger, who are dying of malnutrition, who are dying of dehydration, who are dying of lack of medicine. But no. It doesn't affect anyone. It doesn't affect the world community. It doesn't affect those democratic or those democrats around the world. It doesn't affect those people who, you know, openly uh, preach about democracy, who openly preach about civilization, who openly preach about human rights. It it is not affecting them because yes, Israel is above the law, and the things going on. It seems highly unlikely that Israel is going to abide by this. The U.S. State Department, on other on uh, on the other hand, has another uh, res resignation. Anna Lee, uh, Anna Lee, Anna Lee Shi Line, who used to work in the Human Rights and the Labor Department of uh, U United States State Department, she resigned. She resigned, and she said that that her motivation came from the video or the last post shared by the late. Aaron Bushnell, who sacrificed himself because he said that he couldn't take or he couldn't take this anymore. He couldn't take or he couldn't part or he couldn't be complacent of this genocide, this Israeli genocide of Gaza, who set himself on fire. It's over a month of his death now. And I frankly feel the world has forgotten the sacrifice of Aaron Bushnell. There is no one in America, in American and Mr. Biden administration circles remember that man who set himself on fire in front of Israeli embassy in Washington DC by saying his last word was that he can't be, he cannot take this anymore. He can't be silent anymore. He can't be complacent in the Israeli genocide of Gaza. The NLE she line said that it was her trigger point when she, when she saw the video of Aaron Bushnell, when he, when she saw his last word, when he set himself on fire, when he gave his life for the dead people of Palestine, when he gave his life for the humanity of this world, when he believed in humanity, because there is nothing human with what is happening in Gaza. There is nothing sane in what is happening in Gaza. He, the Aaron Bushnell, who realized that we have so much dehumanized the suffering of people of Gaza, that he set himself on fire. And Ali Sheelan said, and it is the crux that I picked up from the interview that she given, that U.S. State Department officials are not very happy with the way things this Biden administration is taking forward. Because there is severe criticism on the Blinken and Biden that the policies that they are carrying on is against the rules and the regulations or the American policy. Because the state who continuously killing the innocent civilians, who continuously blocking the aid to enter in the Gaza Strip, it is against their own rules and regulations which are set by United States State Department, which are set by United States Constitution. It is against their own laws. So she got, she got her courage and I must salute her. 
she resigned that she said that she can't stay silent on this suffering of the people on of on this suffering of the people of gaza who are suffering since last 6 month now and the way things things are going on there is no cease fire happening ramadan is going fast ramadan is just passing day by day only 12 days now left in ramadan if it is a 30 moon day a 30 uh, th- 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 30 moon month uh, the ongoing uh, islamic calendar or islamic month of ramadan only 12 days are left or 11 days are left in ramadan there is no cease fire happening she said that she and many like her they didn't agree they are raising their voices and there are few people who are thinking of resigning but as you know getting a job is a difficult thing in this modern world nice so say that she is not happy because there are so much human rights violations by the state of israel against the people of gaza people of palestine and still america is keep on supporting israel diplomatically and supplying them weapon, weapons and keeping them and keep up arming them she said that she can't be part of this and her words that she the video she shot because she herself has a daughter and the way the way the way things are going on she said that she can't be part of that she can't see the suffering of the innocent civilians and children of us we must salute these people anali she line she stood up against this colonial mindset against this operation uh, on this operation because she believed in something she knew what is this uh, biden administration is doing is wrong and there is only way that you can do you can resign and you can come in public and say stop this genocide we can't be complacent of this genocide because america and the western states are the enablers of this israeli genocide of gaza and if they do not stop the killings and the death toll will keep on rising because america and the united uh, and the united kingdom and canada and france and germany and eu states in whole they are still supplying them weapons it is their ammunition it is these countries ammunition which is been which is used by israel on the people of gaza and doing massacres on the daily basis in gaza and continuing the israeli genocide of gaza so please wake up long live islam long live the people of palestine allah hafiz